next is like uh, in ui setup there are two things which we will talk about here so list view so whenever we want to frequently see the filter data on a particular object tab then uh, we create a list views there okay and global actions are used to perform some predefined action without leaving the current screen where user are currently working okay and user user can perform some actions like they can create records they can update record they can send email or like that so let me show you how this works into the salesforce how list views is useful how we can create and how we can share the list view with other users okay so i am coming on opportunity object okay these are the list views are by default available so let's see if you want to see the uh, opportunity created newly into this week we, we can see from here okay currently no data is there so what what is the magic here uh, some filters are applied here so created date equal to this week basically if i want to see the opportunity created today only then i can create my own list view how can i create my own list view i will click on this gear icon setting icon i will click on the new okay uh, i will say all new today okay here is the say the security like sharing of list view so if i choose this first one then only i can see the list view the person who is creating the list view he will be able to see okay if i click on this then all the users in this org will be able to see if i want to share this list with the particular users then i will choose this particular option so public groups okay so let's see i'm just giving this of access now i'll need to apply some filters here so let's say uh, create a date and equal to today okay so if i will create a new opportunity here this will be visible this is a required field i will put account name i will put some thing let me create a new account this company company name is apex hours i'll save it for now i say okay. i need to select the stage also now so if i again go to opportunity and i see all new today then i'll be able to see it here okay <clears throat> now we were talking about the global actions also so let's suppose i'm working on this opportunity okay and i want to perform some actions okay i want to create a task okay i want to create a new lead basically so if i want to create a new lead i would have to go on the lead and i need to click on the new but in that case i will i will miss out like what i was doing on this particular particular screen so i simply click here i will click on the new lead this screen will pop up i will put some information like our paid test and this lead will be created okay in later phase whenever i will go into the lead okay i will be able to see this okay how we can create this global actions so let me show you into the okay so here is the global action okay in the setup you can click on this new button okay let's suppose i want to create record of my ob obj okay and i will give on the my obj i will save it here but it's not visible here till now okay now also i will save it here this is the layout as it be i'll save it but still it's it's not visible here so what i need to do i will go in the publisher layout i will see this layout is there okay and 
I will add my my original names. Okay. See here, it's in a light name basically. Okay. I will save it. Still not visible. I will reload the page. I could see my OBJ here. I can simply create a record from here. So I will like I do not need to use the current history. It, it, it will help me to save my my time, my, my the persons, my users who are working into the Salesforce it helps to save that uh, the time of particular particular users. Okay. Coming back to the slides. 